Okay, so we're in a different world here uh, that I did a long time ago when summoning first came out. And I was messing with a lot of stuff here. Actually, I have a pretty cool house. I like this house a lot. But I came here because this is a corruption world and I really wanted to get the Clinger Staff. Now, the Clinger Staff... Wow, I really like this house. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, the Clinger Staff, in his tooltip, it says it summons, uh, sum summons like you see right there, summons twins to fight for you. This one doesn't say summon bees. But I guess it does summon something. I guess you can say everything. Like, this summons a laser. But it actually says summons in his tooltip. So my goal right now, uh, for the beginning half of this episode, because we're going to be fighting Skeletron and maybe Plantera. I want to... This episode's not just going to be boss by boss now. It's going to be us just trying to get through the all the stabs. <coughs> excuse me. And uh, see what we can get done. But let's head over here. Hopefully the corruption's in this direction. I don't know. I don't remember. So this world is like 1.2.4. Point one? One of the 1.2.4s. Aha! So we got the chest. I'm gonna place the chest now. Put the key in it. Hold up. Let's, uh, before we do that, I need somewhere to place this. Okay. Uh, let's place this summoning thing. Buff. Alright. Get one more. Do this. This. We good. We good? We good. Alright. So, let's just take this guy out. I don't even know what the corrupted chest drops or the corrupted mimic drops. No clue. It's my favorite noise ever. There's like 8 billion lasers going off at once. Guys, you guys gotta handle this. I, I can't exactly do anything. Hey, yeah, yeah. Alright. Right here, guys. Right here. Corrupted mimic. Handle this. Maybe I should summon in pirates. It might be a little bit better. Handle that pirate. Handle that pirate. Come on, we gotta get a first try here. Oh god. They hit really hard. Alright, we didn't get a first try, but we got a... I think this is a flail? Holy shit! This is the coolest flail ever, what the heck? Yo, it makes me want to do a flail only run. Hint, hint. No, I'm not doing that. Eh, maybe I'll do it, I don't know. Uh, I actually want to unsummon the eyes, just so I can summon in... Holy shit, I need to use a potion. Just so I can summon in uh, the pirates. Pirates might deal a little bit more damage. But uh, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll stick with this for now. Because he, he's still taking a lot of damage. Now I want to get the Frost Hydra Staff. Which is like the big reason why I want to kill Plantera as fast as we can. Because uh, you can summon staffs that summon things like the Queen Spider. You can summon all those guys at once. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. Alright, Clinger Staff. Boom, bada, bing. So, this is what it does. Look at that. That's amazing. And it does a lot of damage. Like, oh my god. I can't even, like, can you guys, like, fuck off? Fuck off. I'm trying to show off this clinger staff. Now there's another attack. <laughs> but, you see, oh, here we go. Walk into this. So it does have to stay on the floor, which is, like, the worst part about it. But it's still really good. All right, come on, fly over here, boys. They won't fly into it. I can't show it off. <laughs> what a bunch of dicks. Come here. Yeah, right here. Boom, boom, that's amazing. It's got it's got some high DPS. It's pretty much like it if you think about it, it is like a cloud, is what I just thought about. Oh my god. It's a fucking cloud. It's pretty much like a cloud. It has like the same exact thing of a cloud. I'm guessing it eventually over time it does disappear. But I'm gonna kill the rest of these and see if I can get whatever else the uh corrupted chest drops. But I'll meet you guys back in our regular world where we will fight Skeletron Prime. Alright, so I think it is go time against Skeletron. Let's do this. We can get we can get one more summoning. Oh god. This ain't safe. This ain't safe for business. Hey, how you doing, Skeletron? Can I not get it on top of here? Come on, you're right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So uh we got a bunch of we got a bunch of these eyes flying around, obviously, as you can see. And the pirates do more damage, yes, they do indeed. I'll uh, admit to that one. But I uh, like like what happened last episode. We had trouble finding a good use for the pirates. So we'll just uh, try and stick to what we got going on here. I'm going to use a potion already. Just so I can stay at a nice amount of health all the time. Uh-oh. I don't got enough mana for this. I don't got enough mana for this. Let's pop a potion. If we, if we can get him in the spin cycle. No, he's too far up for the for what I'm trying to do. Damn. I don't got any like stronger weapons. But we'll see what we can do here. I'm, I'm just gonna hope that my my boys here, my uh, 
my beautiful spiders here will uh, do their best. This ain't, this ain't gonna work out well. You know, work out with all the health we're losing. But 20 seconds, damn, I really need a charm of myths, like, badly. Like, that's needed on a summoner character. You need to use a lot of potions on a summoner character, is what it seems like so far. Oh, there it is. Perfect. That's perfect. Alright, it was perfect. Hold up. Nope, never mind. I lied. I lied. It wasn't perfect. It was almost there. It was almost there. Ow. Holy shit. Hey, pal. Can you, like, come right down here? We're not making the smartest, smartest decisions right now. All right, let's uh, let's do the the range technique where we get like a billion range from. Actually, I can't do that. I gotta I gotta stay down here, stay near to the floor. Oh, okay, that was a good dodge. I'm not gonna lie. I impressed myself with that dodge. Yeah, that one too. That was totally on purpose. Jeez, this dude hits really hard. I just I just wanna. Nope, that's not that's not what I wanted to do. How can we like hide from this guy? He's swinging his arms everywhere. He's swinging his body everywhere. Don't forget about that part. This dude is floppy. I'm not gonna lie. God damn. You need to chill out, alright? No, I'm going this way. I'm gonna endanger my NPCs. <laughs> for the safe for the sake of me living. Oh god. Come on, eyes, go! Activate eyes! Activate eyes, we need a Nimbus rod. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a Nimbus rod yet. I killed a billion Nimbuses. Uh-oh. This ain't safe. Uh-oh. My new trophy room's in the way. Damn it. <laughs> My fucking trophy room got in the way. Alright, you know what? Whatever. We'll deal with this. We'll deal with this now. We're just gonna have to deal with the health that we have, and it shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Let me just buff everything. Hey, chill out with the hands there, alright? We can get him to the floor. If we can get him to the floor and get him to spin. Alright, well, that's not gonna help. He's all the way up here. Damn, sucks you can't place the clinger staff on, uh, platforms. On, uh, not wool. Yeah, you can't place them on platforms. You have to place them on the floor like this. And it's not putting out the DPS that I wanted to put out. Because it's only on the floor. Oh, God. Chill out a bit there, Skeletron. Once we get him to his head, we should be more than fine. Uh, I might even summon in the pirates once we get him to the head. Oh, let's try and remove of his hands while we're at it. Just get rid of those hands. Those hands, uh, they can get... They can get a little touchy. Get a little touchy. Oh, God. You're getting close to me, hand. You're getting close to me, hand. Hey, you wanna... You wanna... You wanna swing down here by the clinger staff? I'd be okay with it. I'll let you touch my clinger, uh, staff if you let me kill those hands. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. Where's the pirates? Let's get the pirates out. And, uh, alright, hold up. Let's wait for him to come back down here. Come on, come on down. Come on down. Down lower. 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 Alright, there. Uh, there go. Yeah, get in there, pirates. There we go. Oh, man. We get to use the pirates for once. Well, like, we can even do, like, that's the, one of the cool things about the summoner. You can, like, have whatever, a bunch of the different monsters if you want. A bunch of different summons if you really want. Yeah, come into this one. Now this one. Woo! That's working out. That's working out a lot better than I thought it would. I'm just gonna let, I'm just gonna let the boys handle it now. Let my summons handle it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Woo! That was... I'm not gonna lie. That was actually really fun. Not having to do anything at the end there. But we're gonna need to... We're gonna need to... Make our accessories, like, actually good if we want to do stuff like that for future bosses. Like, Plantera... Where is he gonna, Plantera's gonna cause for a little bit of juking. It's Plantera. It's crazy. Uh, let me... Oh, my God. Let me get rid of the pirates. Summon in my boys. All right, now. Can we use... Does Skeletron have any use for us, at least? I don't really think he does. Uh, Soul of Fright. Other than the uh, pickaxe we need to create. What? Let's use the make that. Oh, Avenger Emblem. Yeah, we do need one of those. Okay, well, we gotta make... Let's make the pickaxe. What should I, should I make the pickaxe or drill? I'll make the pickaxe because it's, like, really quiet. And the drill's like, eh, 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 eh. What's well, the drill? I expect that. But uh, I don't want it. Because I usually get the drill most of the time. So we'll just get the pickaxe axe. And we will get rid of this demonic meteor hammer. Where is the goblin? Hey, there you are. Didn't I just sell this? 
I don't know what I sold, but whatever. No, what am I doing? <laughs> I sold something. I don't really care what it was. I hope it wasn't anything good. Sure, anything. I'll take anything that isn't what it had before. I thought I sold this hammer. What did I sell? All right. Uh, let's put away the souls. And now we're going to head to the jungle. And we're also going to quick stack. So, we need to the jungle and get stuff from Plantera. Or not stuff from Plantera. We need to, I'm going to gather up some equipment to fight Plantera. And then, uh, hmm, let me think here. I need to think about what accessories I need to fight them. Definitely the Charm of Myths. So I might have to go look for a Mimic. Because we want the Pygmy. Well, we don't really want the Pygmy Staff. Pygmy Staff is okay. But we want mainly the Charm of Myths. And we want the armor that the dude sells after you kill Plantera. Do I have a Charm of Myths or Myths of Charms? Whatever the fuck it's called. I do not. All right. Wait, can you, let me talk to, over here, let me talk to the guide. Hello, Levy. Levy, 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 um, what am I looking for? <laughs> Where is it? There it is, all right. Turn this. All right, so, yeah, that's, we gotta combine it with the menacing banner regen. The menacing. Uh, we're gonna head over there. Yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of exploring to finish this episode off. I wanted to fight Plantar in this episode, but... That might be a little bit, a lot more than what I intend to want to do in this episode, just to fight Plantair. Because uh, my accessories ain't, they ain't the hottest. We need kind of tank-like accessories. The summoner doesn't rely on mana, even though I'm kind of using a lot of mana when I use my uh, uh, mana weapons, magic weapons. But uh, let's just head over to the jungle. And I might need to gather something like an icy turtle shell. That might be cool to have. On this player, on this playthrough, on this character. But this is a cool weapon. This is one of my favorite weapons in those chests. This actually really like those mimics, those like biome specific mimics, those are cool. They need to have one for like even the jungle too. That'd be pretty cool. But I really like the. the This is mud. Yeah, what the heck? Why is there so much like tucking over? Let's, let's head on under. I like the biome specific chests because they drop really cool loot. And uh, it'd be nice to see more of things like that. I don't know, maybe one for like the jungle, crimson. No, no, I like to really see is uh, the Frost Legion. Those dudes, I like to see them get that little, get that little update. It's gotta happen. They, there's no way they can pass up on something like that. So they're pretty big. They're not really that big, but hoping by Christmas time they might be uh, a little bit different. Because it's kind of weird that they had a frost event and then they added in another frost event. But it's still cool. I, I prefer, obviously, the frost moon over the frost legion. Uh, just because it has a lot more to offer. But let's look down here. What are we even looking for? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, plantera bulbs. Okay. So, yeah, plantera's here. We're going to look up a little bit for a bulb. See if we can find one. Probably smart if I. Well, no, plantera bulbs glow, so it doesn't matter. But uh, I don't know if these guys will be the most helpful down here, so I'm gonna summon in, summon in the boys, the pirate boys. Let's get on it. I, I was hoping to hear a whole lot of, t -t 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 -t, you know, like damage noises, but didn't hear too much. But hopefully the pirate boys will uh, solve the be a little bit better. I'm missing some. Excuse you. All right, whatever. Let's just, just get whatever summon now. This one I don't care. But, uh, Plantera Bull, where are you? Where are thou? Oh, a rod of Discord would be nice on this playthrough, too. We, we just need things... We, um, what is it? Vulnerability. Not really vulnerability. Tankiness. Uh, movability. Movability? Movement speed items. Or just, uh, a way to dodge enemies and stuff like that. Uh... And what else do we need? Maybe regen items would be good, but we should be good on regens. Can I break this? Break this and throw it away. Alright. But yeah, Plantera Bulb, there's gotta be one down here. Here's the temple. What is that platform? What kind of platform is this? Oh, it's a minecart. What the heck? <laughs> it's a minecart platform. Can I actually get on a minecart? No, I can't. Alright. Uh... Oh my god, there's like 10 hoplites. Holy fuck, get out of here. Hoplites, these guys, I want to talk about these hoplites really quick. They do a lot of damage in expert mode. 
even if you are like you can be like wearing solar flare armor and they'll still like pierce your armor they're just they're really strong enemies obviously you kill them before they're able to do anything but they still hit hard just like uh, any enemy in the game i guess hits really hard is that diamond oh, that's emerald but uh, i'm not seeing any plantera things around and i don't expect to see them like e watch out i don't expect to see them instantly because we did just uh give the chance for one of them to spawn but i expect to see at least one not a bunch just that at least one while i'm searching and uh so far i've seen zip also known as none i do see a strange plant that i might want to get because it's always nice there's so much dye you can get no i can't find that uh i'll take this take the water walking potion i don't really need anything else than that but uh another cool thing to get on this character would probably be the armor set but we need to make the you gotta make the dungeon beckon or whatever the hell it says when you beat plantera or the golem whatever thing activates the dungeon turning into hard mode but uh yeah that's gonna end off this episode i'm gonna still look around for plantera plantera bulb then i'll set up arena for that bulb and boom bada bing we should be good to go in the next episode pygmy armor and staff or not really pygmy armor pygmy pygmy ar pygmy staff tiki armor here we come